45 minutes and 45 seconds. All right. Good, uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. I'm Tree Bagheer. Um, I am a resident of 41 Amber Lane, Valdosta, Georgia, 31602. So you probably wonder what business do I have here? Well, I grew up here in Cook County. My parents live here and most of my family. Today I stand before you and Chris request that you vote no on the rezoning for this plant. In the Georgia Trend Magazine, Mr. Whitlock made the following statements. When we landed in Georgia and saw how robust it is in the proximity to a port that is moving significant volumes of fellas already in then found Adel. It stood out because of the people there, he says. Well, Mr. Whitlock, I thank you for your efforts. You say you want to help build Cook County. However, you don't know the people of Adel. He does know the demographics are right to shove these pollutants down into their lungs without our resistance. Wood pellet companies like to find cities like Adel with at least the 25% population of people of color and just the right level of poverty, needing jobs. Adel is an environmental justice area as a result of an African American population of over 50%. Allowing this pellet company into Adel would be an environmental injustice. The remarks on the rezoning request state that the purpose of the annexation is the use of the property for industrial expansion. At present, the precise, the precise use is unknown, but it will be used for a purpose permissible in heavy industry zoning districts. This is quite secretive and does not pass the smell test. The planning of this operation has been going on for three years without consideration for the citizens. If this was such a great business idea, why have, we, why have all the details been hidden, even from the zoning board? We need jobs. We want jobs in this area, but not at the expense of the environment and public health. Our community has been heavily impacted by COVID-19 and the long-term effects are yet to be known. However, we do know about the pollutants caused by these pellet plants will worsen the health of our people. Dale Cook is an unresolved plant environmental issue that has still, still has an open case with the EPD for corrective action that has not been taken since 2000. That's 20 years, people. There's acetone, benzoic acid, phenylchlorophenol, toluene, uh, benzene, naphthalene, and phenol are still on the grounds of Dale Cook. All of these can impact groundwater. Yet many of the residents on 9th Street have been diagnosed with some type of cancer or have passed on. This issue still is not corrected. Wish our community is still battling this. Not in our town. We can't take it anymore. Not in our town. So currently on Fifth Street, there's a major pollution, major air pollution going on in the old shirt factory area. On Fifth Street, it's gone on for years and not resolved. People have complained of the smell and not being able to sit out on their porch. It's right over there on that side of town, near the African American community. There are tons of propane tanks to show this. People are not able to sit on their porches. Ado can't bear the brunt of another pollution source. It will be a death knell to our community. The African Americans have been negatively impacted by Dale Cook, Weyerhaeuser, Sierra Pines, and currently that shirt factor location. Allowing this wood pellet company in to pollute our air, make our citizens sick, and make the African American community sicker is an environmental justice. And it's not about race, it's about what's going on, because this is the target for this type of plan. As our leaders of this great city, please don't sell us out for 50 to 70 jobs over two years. We want industry that builds, not those that break us. Please vote no on the rezoning for this area. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Beard. Good work. Any questions? Dr. Beard, from the council. I, do have a, I have a question. 